Currently, research and development of bioscience in most Latin American countries is stalled. This happens because of two main reasons, distorted public perception and inadequate policies that slow down this technology. Information about biotechnology and synthetic biology is limited to the people. What little information is known for the people is mostly distorted by popular media. The lack of information in Latin America to the people greatly jeopardizes the development of bioscience and its regulatory policies. To get a better idea of the current situation, we evaluated and determined the level of awareness that undergraduate students have about biotechnology, synthetic biology, and GMO. We conducted a survey on four Honduran universities and then analyzed the results in a predictive analytics software. With this, we found the statistical differences between the study groups. After the study, we came to a conclusion that people with different levels of knowledge about bioscience is aware that biotechnology research needs efficient relation policies. We also came to a conclusion that there is a pattern between their level of knowledge about the technology and their acceptance of bioscience and synthetic biology. We wanted to do our part in spreading the word about biotechnology. We developed an educational section that focuses on improving awareness towards biosciences of people around the region and nearby countries. As part of our completely activities, we organized two educational events. In one, we had a workshop with elementary school students in which we teach them the importance of genetics and the extraction of DNA. Also, we had a scientific stand in our university's Pan American Fair, where 15,000 of people attended. In 2013, we developed a copper biosensor upon Asherisha Coley in our university in collaboration with Stanford University. In order to demonstrate that synthetic biology can be safely practiced, we conduct a risk analysis based on a Latin American Environmental Risk Assessment Guide for GMOs. We propose this tool as a simple alternative to elaborate consistent risk assessment for synthetic biology practices to comply national and international biosafety regulations. With our project, we have gathered a lot of interest towards synthetic biology and its funding for its development. Now, we invite you to be part of the change we're offering to our countries and the world.